welcome to your favorite fashion, beauty, and lifestyle show. And if you miss me, I missed you right back. But I'm going to give you everything that's trending and keep you up to date with all the juicy gist. First off, find out which of your favorite celebrities were spotted over the weekend. Also, find out all you need to know about Kelani's surprise pregnancy. Still to come on today's episode, find out what Drake has to say about ending his beef with Chris Brown. Also, find out where Versace intends to show its pre collection. And last but definitely not the least, what Amazon has in store for the fashion world. All this and so much more on this brand new episode of 360 Daily. Kicking off the show with what's trending, Versace is set to show its pre-collection in New York. Versace has announced a runway presentation in New York and it's his first show for a pre-collection. Following in the footsteps of Chanel, which will present its Matthias de Art collection in the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Met, on December 4th. The show will present Versace's pre-fall 2019 collection, designed by creative director Donatella Versace. The runway will take place in a yet undisclosed location at 7 p.m. on December 2nd. A special date for the brand as it's the birthday of founder Gianni Versace, who passed away July 15th, 1997. It's not the first time that Versace is showing in New York, as the label has previously presented the collections of its youth line versus in the Big Apple. The pre-fall show confirms the brand's connection with the city, but also signals the start of a new chapter for The House, which was recently acquired by US-based Michael Kors for $2.12 billion. Next up on What's Trending, Real Housewives of Atlanta's Eva Maciel marries Michael Sterling. Actress and reality TV star of Real Housewives of Atlanta's Eva Marcial tied the knot over the last weekend with her love, Michael Sterling. The wedding ceremony held in Atlanta, obviously, and was attended by the cast of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Next up on What's Trending, Amazon to open first of its kind fashion pop-up in London. Amazon Fashion is bringing a part of its online offering into the real world with a pop-up store that will feature a revolving selection of clothing, brand experiences and activities. Opening on Baker Street in central London from 23rd to 27th of October, it'll be the first ever Amazon Fashion pop-up to open in the UK. It'll showcase a different selection of men and women's fashion and top brands every other day. Additionally, each day will focus on a different theme, with Tuesday and Wednesday centered around building an autumn or winter wardrobe, and Thursday promoting fitness and well-being with showcase of the best sports and athleisure available on Amazon Fashion. On Friday and Saturday, denim party streetwear will take the center with the pop-up with collections for both men and women. Each day will also offer different experiences for customers such as Pepper Jeans denim customization, yoga sessions with Ella Mills, founder of Deliciously Ella, and live acoustic sets from leading British artists. Next up on What's Trending, we have a first look at the Princess Eugenie and Jack Bruce Bank official wedding portraits. Over the weekend, Princess Eugenie and Jack Bruce Bank have officially tied the knot. To wrap up the royal wedding festivities, Eugenie and her husband have released four official portraits shot by Alex Bromwell at the Windsor Castle and later in the day at a private dinner at the Royal Lodge. The newlyweds in the photos below are photographed with the bridal party and family. Next up in what's trending, DJ Khaled rents entire stadium for Asa's second birthday. Now, to celebrate Asa's second birthday, which is happening later this week, DJ Khaled rented an entire baseball stadium to host the carnival in his honor on Saturday. Assad and his wife, Nicole Tuck, are his life, DJ Khaled told his guests. DJ Khaled rented Marlins Park in Miami for the event on Saturday, which also served as a launch for Assad's initiative, a program of his with the best foundation to help kids worldwide. There were carnival rides, games, a petting zoo, music, as well as an Assad Khalid Brand Jordan Collection fashion show. First off in Spotted, Nollywood actress Omotala Jalade Ekende was seen in London at the Academy of Motion Picture, Arts and Sciences 2018 New Members Party. It happened at the National Gallery on October 13th. Next up in Spotted, we have the Kardashian Jenner baby. This definitely has to be one of the cutest pictures of the year, and we bet if you say adorable babies in the mirror three times, these cuties will definitely pop up. The five cousins, St. West, Chicago West, True Thompson, Stormy Webster, and Trim Kardashian met up for a cute cupcake party, keeping up with the cousins. 
The 2018 Varieties Pile of Women event held yesterday in Los Angeles and the launching on Friday, October 12th at the Beverly Hills Wellshire Four Seasons Hotel. The event was attended by Tiffany Haddish, Regina King, Sandy Newton, Jennifer Lewis, Natalie Portman, Lena Waite, Olivia Kupler, John Starmus, and BB Rexer. First off in beauty, Pat McGrath is back with a brand new holiday collection. Fresh from creating exquisite looks for the spring summer 2019 shows for the likes of Valentino, Mason Magella, and Versace, makeup artist Sir Beauty Juggernaut Pat McGrath is coming out with new products and limited edition packaging for the holiday season. Available from October 18th, the collection includes three new eyeshadow palettes, beautifully packaged in bejeweled blues, reds, and pinks. Each eyeshadow palette also has three matching lipsticks cased in limited edition colored bullets, which has been specifically chosen by Pat to be paired with the shades in each palette. Announced at the same time as the new Blitz Trance lipsticks, which are coming out on October 25th, the lipsticks are encased in glittery bullets complementing the glittery metallic shades. Next up in beauty, fragrance sales in UAE are set to be worth $685 million in 2023. Now, in 2017, the fragrance market in the United Arab Emirates was worth $403 million, which is approximately 348 million euros. And its forecast is set to rise to 685 million by 2023 with an annual growth rate of 9%. This is according to the market research firm IMAX. Now to put this in context, in 2017, the worldwide fragrance market recorded sales for $37.4 billion and is expected to reach $70 billion in 2022. Consumers in the UAE, a federation of seven emirates, including Dubai, Abu Dhabi, and Ajman, are major lovers of perfume and are especially fond of fragrances featuring oriental notes like amber or oud. In the last few years, both big international labels and niche perfumers from Louis Vuitton, Tom Ford, Christian Dior to Maison Francis Kudijan, all of them widely distributed in the UAE and the Middle East, have launched a number of perfumes featuring oud with its distinctive woody, leathery and animal notes. The market nearly went into overdose, a clear signal of the ambitious plans international fragrance brands have for the region. Yet, despite a strong presence of overseas labels, consumers in the UAE and the Middle East in general are fond of local brands that are tailored to their leads price-wise too. According to the Child Hub Group, a leading Middle Eastern distributor of fashion and luxury brands, in 2017, in the Arab Gulf region, which includes Saudi Arabia, Oman, Kuwait, Bahrain, the UAE, and Qatar, experienced a $1.4 billion sale in fragrance out of the whooping $3.1 billion, which were generated by Oriental Scents. In 2016, the Cal Hub Group itself launched Gawali, which is an Oriental fragrance line with its own dedicated monogram store network to tap into the new Arab Gulf customers. Next up, our social media star of the day is Loretta Hove. Loretta Hove is one of the new wave fashion, lifestyle and travel bloggers to come out of South Africa. She is known for her forward-thinking fashion posts, carefully curated, themed Instagram page. She posts pictures of her outfits, travel and beauty escapades on her IG page with over 27,000 followers. First off in editorial, Shay Shay for Savvy Magazine. Music star Shay Shay is the latest cover star for Savvy Magazine as the magazine unveils its pleasure edition. Shay Shay speaks on saying yes to girl power and owning her sexuality as a whole. She also gives new insights into the Shay Shay brand. The pleasure edition highlights pleasure in a broad class of mental states that people experience as positive and enjoyable while seeking happiness, entertainment, enjoyment, ecstasy, euphoria, and more. Next up in editorial, Caroline Lossberg for Vogue Portugal. Caroline Lossberg is ready for her close-up in the September 2018 issue of Vogue Portugal. Captured by Andres Ortner, the redhead model poses in a beauty shot captured in a pool. Caroline shows off her freckles wearing a red swimsuit and a little else. Peggy Kirker walks on her natural makeup look with a sleek hairstyle. Next up in editorials, Kate Bock for Grazia Australia. Kate Bock looks like a Barbie doll on the exploration issue cover of Grazia Australia. 
lens by Stephen Chi. The blonde wears a hot pink ruffle adorn dress from Gucci with a Swarovski necklace. For the accompanying spread, Kate poses in palm strings wearing glamorous looks. Stylist Charlotte Stokes makes sure the Canadian beauty shines. Next up in editorial, Anja Rubik for Vogue Paris. Anja Rubik brings sequins and glitter to the October 2018 issue of Vogue Paris. In front of the lens of David Seams, the Polish model appears in a 1980s inspired fashion. Styled by Emmanuel Alt, Anja looks glamorous wearing pieces from fall collections. First off on the Daily Dish, Black China says she's open to reconciling with Rob Kardashian. Reality TV star Black China says she's open to reconciling with the estranged father of her second child, Rob Kardashian. The former couple's very public split resulted in a lawsuit over revenge porn, child support, and a custody agreement for their daughter, Dream. China also sued the Kardashians and the Jenner family for trying to blackball her in the entertainment industry after the whole relationship was over. To be very honest, I don't think Black China means it when she says she is open to getting back together with Rob Kardashian because she hasn't acted like someone that is interested in getting back together with him. And second of all, I think to be honest, people quickly forget how toxic their relationships were. I recently watched an episode of Rob and China and those two were literally always fighting over nothing. Black China, I think it's better for you to just keep moving on. Next up on the Daily Dish, Drake and Chris Brown and their beef. Drake and Chris Brown have officially squashed their long-running feud. The Canadian rapper brought out the American singer during his Aubrey and the Three Migos tour in the Staples Center in Los Angeles over the weekend. The pair, who had a bloody clash in 2012 over their now ex-girlfriend Rihanna, took to their respective Instagram accounts to share photos of themselves performing together on stage as they ended their long-running feud. Sharing a photo with Chris Brown on stage, Drake wrote, this is not a fan edit. Last time I was on stage with Breezy was 2009 at Virginia Commonwealth University. Tonight I got to reconnect with him for the first time at the Staples. I love a good full circle moment. Thank you. Chris Brown also took to his Instagram to caption the picture Double Dragons as Champagne Pappy. In September, Drake also quashed his beef with rapper McMill by also bringing out the filler rapper on stage during his show at the Tea Garden in Boston. Now, it seems like Drake is on a quashing beef tour because he seems to apparently be trying to quash with his beef with everybody except Pusha T. Now, if you've seen this viral video that has gone literally so viral on social media of Drake talking to LeBron and talking about how Kanye is sliding and all of that stuff, I hope that Drake, Kanye, and Pusha T can actually come together and be one happy family. It doesn't look like it's happening anytime soon, but it's good on Drake to be making good amends with people that he fell out with in the past. Next up on the Daily Dish, Kelani announces pregnancy. American singer Kelani has taken to social media to announce that she is four months pregnant with a baby girl. She did not reveal the identity of the baby's father, but however, she stated that it is someone that had been in front of y'all's faces. Kalani also shared the good news on Twitter and said the decision to share this with the world was a tough one, but I really want to experience the freedom and joy any normal pregnant person feels. I don't want to hide, I want to walk around with my belly out everywhere. Me and my shorty are out here, she wrote. It's super exciting times for Kalani. So when the news of Kalani being pregnant broke, a lot of people were wondering who she was pregnant for because Kalani is famous for playing for the same team. Now, it's really interesting that she has gone on to say that her baby daddy is someone that is always in our faces. So I will definitely bring you that juicy gist when it drops. And last but not the least, on the Daily Dish, Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson have called off their engagement. According to TMZ, sources close to the couple say the duo both agreed to call it off because it wasn't the right time for their relationship to take off. It was way too much too soon and it's not shocking to anyone. People quoted an Ariana Grande sauce as saying, 
The now ex-couple got engaged in June this year after weeks of dating. TMZ is also reporting that the duo are not ruling out the possibility of something happening between them in the future. To be honest, I feel like the whole world, including Ariana and Pete Davidson, saw this coming. And I think the sudden death of Mac Miller would have definitely been another catalyst to have led to this breakup. It's not a small thing for you to lose your ex that you didn't necessarily want to break up with, but ended things with because he struggled from drug problems. And then now lose that ex due to a drug overdose. I think Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson made the best decision and it's also good that they're open to working things out in the future. First off, in Spicy or Not, rapper Cardi B is seen in Lauren Dewitt. Cardi B celebrated her 26th birthday in style having a wild night out in Los Angeles. The rapper and model of one who donned a bespoke leopard print metal mesh co-ord by Lauren Dewitt with a super high double split skirt. Hit me up on social media, let me know what you think. Was this outfit spicy or not? Next up, we're going to be bringing you all the exclusive looks from celebrities that went to the royal wedding. Now, the royal wedding of Princess Eugenie and Jack Bruce Banks held at the Windsor Castle on Friday in Windsor, England. The ceremony was attended by several celebrities, including your absolute faves. But we will talk about the ones that had some noteworthy looks and let us know if you think it's spicy or not. First off, we have supermodel Naomi Campbell spotted wearing a Ralph and Russo for Winter 18 Couture number for the Royal event. I absolutely love this look by Naomi Campbell. I think she looked like a Barbie doll. But let me know what you think. Hit me up on social media. Was it spicy or was it not? Next up, we have Cara Delvin. She came through in one of the most talked about looks of the event and we know a lot of people have mixed feelings about her outfit. The model wore an all black tuxedo and paired it with matching black shoes and a hat. Let me know what you think about this outfit. I don't know, Cara Delvin. I think she's absolutely gorgeous and because of that, I think she's kind of like a Rihanna. She just steps out of the box and does things that generally wouldn't look nice on anyone else but she definitely killed it to me. But well, hit me up on social media and let me know is this outfit spicy or not. And last but not the least, in this spicy or not segment of the Royal Wedding, we have Ellie Golding. She opted for a casual look in a sky blue polka dot dress and matched it with a simple fascinator and matching nude shoes and a clutch. Let me know what you think. You know the drill. Is it spicy or not? And last but definitely not the least, in movie trailer, Creed 2 is an upcoming American sports drama film directed by Stephen Capel Jr. and written by Sylvester Stallone and Jewel Taylor. If we don't do what we love, then we wouldn't exist. sequel to Creed that came out in 2015 and the eighth installment of the Rocky film series. It stars Michael B. Jordan, Sylvester Stallone and Tessa Thompson. I am 100% going to be in the cinema to see this one. The film follows Adonis Creed and his training in order to defeat the son of Ivan Drago, the powerful athlete who killed his father in the ring more than 30 years prior. It is scheduled to release in the United States on November 21st. So movie lovers, this one is definitely for you. Round after round, you learn more about yourself. And when I stepped in that ring, it wasn't all about me. All right, guys, it's a wrap for today's episode of 360 Daily. And like I said at the beginning of the show, if you missed me, I definitely missed you too. But don't miss out on everything that's trending in fashion, beauty, and lifestyle by visiting our website at www.myspice.tv or our social media handle, which is Spice TV Africa, across all platforms. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm sorry, I'll start posting again. My Instagram is valerie.ek. Until next time, this has been Spice TV's premiere show 360 Daily. See you later.